Welcome back everyone to a brand new video and today I wanted to do something different because I just spent practically the entire day figuring something out and finally figured it out with the help of some people which I'll go over later but what I did and I'm showing you guys how to do um, is this so I'm, I made a suggestion channel and this suggestion channel has a message that always stays at the top of the chat no matter who types so I'm just going to type something random so let's say I do that. The message will always stay at the top, and this message is pretty much telling the user what command they have to type to make the suggestion. And the second part of this is um, actually the bot that does the suggestion, which is Carlbot. So Yagbot is the bot that has the message at the top, which I'll show you guys how to do, which is a lot more complex. And then the Carlbot is the bot that actually does the suggestions. But without the Yagbot, people on your Discord server aren't going to know how to use the Carlbot to make suggestions. So that's why I'd recommend putting both. I'll show you guys how to do Carlbot first though. Um, just to give you an example that Carlbot works, um, I put the command, which is just suggestion, and then you put suggestion, so I'll just put a test. So the where I wrote test, that would be the suggestion. And anybody can put a suggestion every six hours, no matter who you are. So you just put that in, and bam! It will delete your message, but it will put it in an embed as this, and people, all users will be able to upload it or download it. And as you can see, Yag's message is still at the very top. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to do this. This is a very advanced uh, Discord video, so a lot of you guys might have trouble with this, but I'm going to try to break it down for you guys. And uh, let's start from the top. So first, um, I'd recommend you do this on a computer, not mobile. That's just going to be way too difficult. So first. Go to your server, you must be the owner for to be able to do this. Uh, so go here, and then go to server settings. Roles, add a role, name it bots, and make sure you give them admin. And this is just gonna be so the, the bots um, have admin role, I already have one. So the next thing we have to do is we gotta get the Carl bot and the Yag bot into our server. So to do this, I'll leave these links in the description, but um, pretty much, um, the first one is the Carlbot, so do carl.gg, click this in the description, log into your Discord account, and then invite it to your server. And then for the Yagbot, this will also be in the description, YagPDB. You're just going to click this link, log in with your Discord, and then add the bot to your server. Once you've done this, both of the bots should be in your server, the Yagbot and the um, Carlbot. So once you've done that, go into server settings then go into members and then first up search Carl and then you want to give Carl the bot role so he has admin and then once you've done that look up yag and then give the yag bot admin the bot role which will give him admin once you've done this um the rest is going to be where it gets pretty hard so um, yeah, let's first off start with the Carl bot. So I would recommend you make a channel and met title this channel suggestions and then create the channel. Once you have that channel, go to edit the channel and go to permissions and make sure everybody can read the messages, send the messages and read the message history. But make sure they can add reactions or do anything else. Just make sure they can read messages, send messages, read message history, and create an invite for everyone. And make sure they can't do anything else for at everybody. Okay, now that we have the suggestions, let's start off with the Carl bot. Um, so I have this uh, channel right here, which is completely empty. I'm gonna pretty much redo the process so I show you guys how you do it. So first, once you load up the Carl bot, you want to go all the way down on the Carlbot dashboard to where it says suggestions. In suggestions, these are the settings we're gonna change. The Carlbot is pretty easy to set up, the Yagbot is a lot harder. As I said like five times, I should probably stop saying that. All right, so the first setting is pretty much doesn't matter. It just, it, it'll change the color of the embed. So um, the embed is pretty much this color right here and it shows the color. So if you have a lot of people in your server, then make this a high number. If you have a little bit of people in your server, make it a low number. I'd make it like around 10 or 15. Next, make this off, make this off, make this off. Suggestions channel, 
what we want to do is pretty much just make this the channel of our suggestion so I already have this and the suggestion channel you made you just pop in there next the decision channel we do not need that and then restrict suggestions to make this the suggestions channel what this does is it will pretty much make it so you can't use the command anywhere else but in the suggestions channel and the good thing about the suggestions channel is if you go into the channel with the suggestions you can put on a slow mode of six hours so people can only make suggestions every six hours and by enabling the restrict it will make it so members can only give a suggestion every six hours so once you have the channels all correct and you have this to whatever number you want go ahead and click on save that will go ahead and save this next we want to go into bot settings at the very top of Carl and enter a prefix I would recommend putting the plus prefix so to do this delete all previous prefixes add the plus prefix and click on add and make sure that is the only prefix once you've done that go back to discord find the Carl bot in your bots or whatever and I would recommend just adding the uh, plus at the start so people know what command it is now if we test this in the suggestions channel if you type plus suggest and then whatever you want it should go ahead and make yourself the suggestion now that we have that part done it's time to move on to the much more advanced part almost everyone should be able to do the first part but um, this second part might take you guys a lot to understand so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this because we don't need it and then this this message should automatically get deleted that's why it's not deleting because right now it's a little bugged but because of uh, the amount of people on discord right now but that should automatically delete um, it should do it instantly but because the servers are a little uh, clunky recently it doesn't delete automatically because so many people are on discord but that's besides the point alright so to add the Yagbot what we want to do is we can completely exit out of the Carl bot we don't need that Yagbot make sure the Yagbot is in your discord server and he has admin if not it won't work um, and then log in on the website what you want to do is go to home and then you can change the settings so go home change settings under commands and then you can give it whatever prefix you want this is important make sure you remember the prefix um, I put a period and once you have the prefix it's optional but I'd recommend changing the nickname and putting the bots prefix in parentheses so you can remember it but that is optional just make sure you know the Yagbots prefix by default it is a dash if you don't change it it'll be a dash but if you want to change it do it okay now what we want to do is go back to home and then go into um, where is it custom commands right here so it is the third thing no the fourth thing go to custom commands change settings here once you do that click on plus name the group suggestions and then once you've done this save it I'm not gonna save it because I'm deleting this right after because I already have mine then you want to do create a new custom command click that it's going to load in this and what we want to do is I'm just going to follow the same things I had here so I'm gonna delete this and you just want to copy what I did here I'll leave this coding in the suggestion in the description so I got this coding I'm just gonna give a quick shout out uh, I got this coding from this guy um, he sent me the code so shout out to him he helped me with this uh, but the code will be in the description for you guys so just copy and paste that I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this right here bam and then what you want to do is copy that into the response we're gonna mess with this a little bit but first make sure you change the trigger type to regex if you don't know what that means don't even worry about it um, and then change the trigger to nothing just leave it at nothing it's gonna say fun don't just don't type anything there custom command group make it the suggestion because remember we made a group called suggestion and then right here um, make it require at least one of the role and give yourself a role like give yourself owner role or whatever so that only you can put the command in and then put it only run in the following channels and then 
make that checked, and then choose the suggestions channel. And then what we want to do is click save. Now everything is done except for the code. So in the code, this part is kind of confusing. So first we want to go into Discord, go to user settings, go to appearance, and then make sure the developer mode is turned on. This is very important, so make sure you have your developer mode on. Now we can exit out of this, go to your suggestion channel, I'm just going to go to mine, and then in your suggestion channel you want to right click it, and then you want to click on copy ID. This copy ID will only show up if you have the developer mode appearance on. So once you've copied that, there's going to be, it's going to say delete message and then this coding stuff is going to be my channel ID. So you want to just hover over this and then command V it to make it your channel ID. I'm not going to do that obviously because then it wouldn't work for me. But uh, you guys get what I'm trying to do and then leave this stuff all the exact same. Moving down here, you want to make um, this. It says send message ret ID NIL, and then it has the quotes, bop, 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 all the way down to here until the end of the quotes. Right here is going to be my, my text, but you can make this say whatever you want. This is pretty much going to be what appears here in the message. So make sure you just have it say what the people have to type in to make a suggestion and then you can type whatever else you want um, completely up to you but make sure uh, this is whatever you type in these quotes is going to be what is in the message so make sure you type how to make a suggestion because that's the whole point we're doing this then at the end of the quotes leave it all the same don't mess with this I don't even know what this means but if you delete it it's not going to work all right um, everything else looks good so then we just want to go ahead and save it now what you got to do is go into the suggestion channel. You only have to do this once. Click on the period and asterisk. This pretty much is the symbol for regex. And because we made the trigger type regex, you just want to type the regex in there. And then you're going to click enter and everything's going to do it for itself. Now everything should work as, um, as um, planned. So I'm going to go ahead and restart this and it should be working how I have it. So uh, yeah, make sure you've saved all these settings in Yagbot and Carlbot and everything like that. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this and I'll do one more test for you guys. Delete that. And here we go. Plus suggest right here, as you can see the command. And then you're going to put the suggestion right after it. So I just put test and then press enter. And then bam, it's gonna go ahead and add this. You can upvote or downvote it, and then the Yagbot message is gonna to go to the top. Um, this message is not deleting because the servers are down. As you can see, it is deleted. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and refresh it to prove it to you guys. It they, they delete automatically. The Discord servers are down right now a little bit, but uh, just trust me, it will delete automatically if you do this. So you guys, hopefully this helped you guys out. This was. I've never coded in my life personally and this was pretty pretty challenging for me but after I figured it out I just decided to show it with you guys because I thought it was extremely cool and thought you guys could use uh, find it useful so yeah I found this off of the d7 discord server I, I saw it here and I was like you know what I want to do that so I went ahead and messaged someone and they they kind of helped me and then I did the rest myself and I figured it out and then I just decided to show it to you guys so we could do could do the exact same thing on your server. See, this was a super long video, super uh, complex. If you guys didn't understand what I was saying, then um, you can if you can leave a question, I'll try to help you guys out. I'm not too experienced with coding. This is literally all I know how to do with coding. But um, leave a question. I might be able to help you guys out. Make sure you followed all the steps in the video. If not, it won't work. Every single thing has to be done the exact same. It's that important not it won't work so make, if it's not working for you rewatch the video make sure you did everything the correct way but guys the code will be in the description once again the two bots will be in the description once again and uh, yeah thanks for watching the video guys and peace